Hello everyone, it's me, Dilly Sims. Welcome back to my channel. Today is floor plan day. So, as always, I got this floor plan off of Google. And it was very easy and simple looking, so that's why I picked it. And one thing that I also liked were the patios, or the porches on both sides of the house. I really liked that on um, the floor plan and the way it looked. So yeah, there's that. How are you guys? How's your day going? Good? Mine's going okay. Um, I recent, uh, <laughs> sorry, I recently went out with my friends because my friend Kayla is having her birthday and she doesn't want to admit how old she is and she's not old guys so don't be like mm, she's an old maid she's not an old maid <laughs> she's not that old but for some reason she thinks she is but yet again i'm only 21 and i think i'm really old too <laughs> and we went out and i basically wasted the entire day because i got really really drunk last night like so drunk and i <laughs> I woke up at like 11.30 and Kayla was supposed to go to work and I spent the night at her house. And she was supposed to go to work but she was also really gone. It was a crazy night. Like I'm trying to think that of some stuff that happened. There's a few things that I'm like, there's a few moments in my life or of last night that I can't really remember. Because I went out on Sunday and I'm recording on this on Monday. So normally I have this already pre-recorded, but it's okay. <laughs> and I w felt hungover and I didn't actually start working or doing anything, including schoolwork, until like 2 p.m. So I basically wasted the entire day. Because th those were so many hours I could have used. And then I was like, oh, I don't have to go to work, right? I'm so happy. I can spend all day Tuesday, today, <laughs> recording, editing, doing homework for school. Just kidding, I work from 6 to 2.30. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy about it. I really don't want to go to work, but it's okay. Oh, recently I got a job. I mean, pff, wait. I had a job. I recently got a raise. I, I, I've always had a job, but I just recently got a raise, so that's a plus. Sorry guys, I just realized there's like no structure to my storytelling so far. I know I've only been talking for like three minutes, but the structure is so bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but this is what you guys get when you subscribe to me. So if you like this unstructured sometimes unstructured. I try to be as structured as I can. Great videos. Subscribe to me. Hit that subscribe button. Or like those big gaming YouTubers say, SMASH THAT SUBSCRIBE BUTTON! <laughs> yeah. So you can be- yeah, no. Just hit that subscribe button. SMASH IT HARD! <laughs> oh god, this is so bad. Okay, more stories. Let's see. What's a good story to talk about? Oh, um, on last week's, on last Sunday's speed build, the Southern Plantation, I talked about how my co-worker's son passed away and how I wanted to go to her house, visit her, and bring her food, and she told us me and my fellow co-workers not to bring food because their her family's just not eating and I mean I, it's understandable a close family member died and they're not really eating which isn't good for you but you know they're in mourning and I when when was it hmm I went to the funeral on what day did I go to the funeral? Thursday? Friday? Thursday. 
Friday. Friday. I went to the funeral on Friday. So, I... I pre-recorded the Southern Plantation video before the funeral, but on Friday I went to the funeral because it, it just happened to be perfect. Like life planned it so well for me because I was supposed to work on Friday, but my coworker Christy texted me and she hey, I would really like to have Saturday off so can... I have your Friday shift and you could take my Saturday shift and I was like yeah so I ended up working Saturday and then I had Friday free so I was like you know what I'm gonna go to the funeral because if l Lord forbid and it's gonna happen at some point because everybody dies a family member of mine dies I would absolutely love it if somebody that I worked with or as came to my funeral. I mean, not my funeral, like of my, one of my family members' funerals, even if I, they didn't even know, like, let's say it's one of my sisters, which I really would hope not. And it would be like so hard for me if one of my sisters passed away, but let's say it was one of my sisters that passed away. I would be over the moon to know that like my coworkers came to m my sister's funeral. And it wouldn't even be f for my sister because they obviously don't know her. But to support me because I feel like it's just human for us to do stuff like that for each other. And so I went and I was waiting to sign the book because there's a book that you sign when you go to a funeral. And I was waiting and I saw my boss, Sam, and my other boss, Sam, the Sams, and I saw them and I was like, oh, hey can, guys, can I sit with you? And they, they were so shocked to see me there. Like they just were so shocked that I was there. And they were like, yeah, of course you can, Dylan. And so I sat with them and it was, the funeral was an hour and a half and it was beautiful. I've never been to that church before, but they, they know how to do church. Like, they sang and danced. Okay, they, they didn't really dance. But they sang a lot, and a couple of people did, like, sway. Like, they were getting into the rhythm. And you could stand if you were feeling it. Like, the the music. If you were feeling the music, you could stand and, like, throw your hands up in the air. It was so great. Like, I've never been to a church like that, and it was just beautiful. I loved it. And... <laughs> and they were like, oh, do you know if anyone else is going to come to the funeral? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I haven't heard, to tell the truth, I never heard anyone at work say, I'm going to go to the funeral. Because, I don't know, nobody's ever mentioned that. And the only person that I can think of that has done something like that or said something like that was my coworker, Andrea, because she's the only one that's been going over to my coworker Olivia's house to visit her. Which, I, I don't know why people are being so anti-friendly, I guess. It made, it made me so mad to see that, you know, nobody... It was the three of us. The three of us from my company went to go to her son's funeral. And I'm like, sure, I didn't know her son at all. I talked to him maybe once in my entire life. I Yeah, I have a vague memory of having a conversation with him when I first started there like five years ago. But it's just so, I feel like you have to be human and you have to go and like support each other when, that's her son, come on. Like, it is so hard to lose someone you care about. And they're, you're not gonna, you know, support somebody when they lose somebody like that. And like, how do I put this? My best friends, Heather and Kayla, knew about the funeral too. And so I texted Kayla and I was like, hey, um, I found out that the funeral is tomorrow. Do you want to go with me? <sighs> no, I can't. I have uh, doctor's appointments after doctor's appointments. And I was like, you know what? Fine. Because I, I do know that she has tried really hard to get those appointments. And, you know, if she cancels, it's going to take her a long time to get it again. Another appointment. So I was like, okay, fine. 
And then I texted my friend Heather and I was like, hey Heather, do you want to go to the funeral with me? And she was like, no, I have to work. And I was like, okay, cool. I guess I'm going to go by myself. And that's why I ended up sitting next to Sam and Sam, Sam Squared. And after the funeral, I got off, or I texted my sister and I was like, hey, do you want to go get um, lunch or something together? And she was like, oh yeah, sure. I just left the office. I'm done for the day. Yeah, we could stop and get food. Where do you want to go? And I was like, oh, let's go to this place, which is where Heather works. And I went in there and I didn't see Heather. That made me, guys, that made me so mad because I'm pretty sure Heather just like lied that she had to go to work because I didn't see her at all at, you know, her place of work. And she said she was working in a normal shift. If she starts at like six, she'll be off at like two 30 and the funeral was at 12. So I don't know why, but I didn't see her. Maybe she went home sick. I don't know, but I'm under the assumption that she just didn't want to go to the funeral and therefore lied to me, which made me very mad because like I said, it's just do like go to the funeral support somebody who's actually hurting and again if it happened to you like let's say heather's brother died or her grandpa because her sorry her grandpa is the one who takes care of her like it would hurt so much to lose either one of those people like, it would hurt her so much. So I don't understand why she couldn't have gone and, like, just supported Olivia. I don't know. It just made me so mad. And I, I haven't told her that I went to her place of work to see if she was working. Because I know that was wrong of me and I shouldn't have done it. But I just want to know if she was telling the truth. To, t to be very honest, I just want to know if she was telling the truth or if she was lying to me. And because I also wanted to see her and I like their, um, what, what do they have? They have these little pineapple cream cheese danishes. They're so good. And I wanted one too. So I guess it wasn't just to see if Heather was working, but low key it also was. <laughs> yep. Okay. I have four minutes. Let me talk about partying. Now that I had talked about a really sad funeral for, I don't know, what felt like 12 minutes. Let me talk about the party I went to. So Kayla's birthday is today. Um, sorry, Monday when I'm recording this. And so we went out on Sunday to celebrate Kayla's birthday and Kayla's friend, whose name is Colin is, per, d uh, he does drag, like he does drag shows and he was performing at a club near us. And if you have me on Snapchat, it'll, you probably won't be able to watch it now, but I put it on Snapchat. So follow me on Snapchat at Dilly Apolinario. It's also down in the description below. And ooh, let's see, it was so much fun. But at the same time, I got so drunk. It was so bad how drunk I got. Oopsies. <laughs> and he did a great job. He, his performance was so good. Collins, so proud of him. Like, I've never met him. Oh, and then I met his mom because his mom was there too. And it was so cute because I, and I told her that I was so happy that she was there to see, you know, her son, because I know that if like I decided to do drag one day, my parents wouldn't go support me. So I was telling her how happy I am to see that. And she was like, oh, thank you. And then apparently she also does like work for the LGBT, the LGBT community in this area and so she's like oh we're planning on having meetings so if you want you can have your parents come to a meeting about like having an LGBT child and you know stuff like that and I was like that but trying to get my family to go with me that'll be a tough sell I think or who knows maybe I just think or set really low standards for my thing like they might surprise me I don't know 
But something tells me they won't surprise me. Because earlier I was showing... Because what my family doesn't seem to understand is when you're part of the LGBT community, it is also a culture. It is not just a... I don't know. It's a culture. And that's what they don't seem to understand. There is like history and it's basically like another nationality but they don't seem to understand that so i'm thinking maybe i could if i get them to realize that it'll be easier but who knows i could be completely wrong i could just be making up all this stuff and yeah like i was tr um showing my mother picture or videos of last night on Snapchat and she was like the drag queens performing and she's like oh that's what you went to go see and I was like yeah and then you know the guys they make their clothes and she's like wait those are men and I was like yeah and then she looked at me like oh my gosh no oh my she basically like mentally threw holy water on, on me <laughs> basically like, it was so bad, and she couldn't wrap her head around that, you know, people do that for fun. And, it, uh, like I said, it's part of the culture. Because, you know, like, the Christians have church on Sundays, and the gays have drag night on Sundays instead. You know, who knows? But I'm getting really close to the... No, excuse me. I'm getting very close to the end of the video, guys, so I'm going to start wrapping it up. If you want, you can download this house off the gallery by searching the name Hillside Home. Or you could search it by searching me in the gallery, Dilly Sims. And if there's any screenshots you ever want to see made in The Sims, email it to me. My email is in the description below. Sorry, it's been like a week since I've done voiceover so I'm like blah, 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 blah. Ugh. <laughs> I will get better I promise and if you want to share anything with me share it in the gallery and tag it in the gallery with the hashtag Dilly Sims and who knows maybe your lots and your creations and stuff will be put into one of my let's plays okay and I'm getting really close to the end of the video screenshots are coming up soon like, subscribe, comment, do all those fun YouTube things, and I will catch all of you guys next time. Bye, everybody.